let's talk about lease renewals. This is one of my favorite workflows to automate in monday.com. And the reason why is if you are new to Monday, it's one of the best workflows to start with for your team because you can give them a lot of value out of the gate and save them a lot of time on the very first process that you implement. The way that we use it in Monday has a lot of the features that you'll see throughout our workspaces all into one workflow. So let's go over this process and, and how we're using it in Monday. So the input to the board that you see here are leases that are ending 120 days out. We're also populating newly onboarded properties that, which are occupied and the lease end dates are under 120 days out. The output of this board feeds into the move out process and the definition of done is a fully executed lease renewal. So one of the main challenges we're trying to solve in this workflow is reducing the amount of back and forth touches that the PM needs with the owner and the tenants to get decisions made on the lease renewal. We're also streamlining the document signing process with Pandadoc and providing reports to the management team on the metrics that they've requested. So let's look over at our metrics real quick. So right here, you can see a pretty simple dashboard. We're tracking our renewal ratio. So you're seeing renewed and a few different reasons why we're not renewing. And we also have what's called the days out completed. So we wanna get ahead on our lease renewals and we're striving to complete these lease renewals 90 days out from the lease end date. We're also checking the leases not yet contacted. So this is just tracking the leases that we haven't completed comps on and passed over to the tenant yet. We also have the open items by staff to track workload. All right, so let's go into our process here. So now we're in the item card. And the first thing you're gonna see at the top is the tenant score. We are tracking late payments and lease violations. So late payments actually get populated through another board that we have called late rent. And so we're tracking how often they are late on those payments, as well as an inspection board that will populate lease violations. So we're tracking both of these and providing a tenant score for us to help us to determine whether we want to renew with this tenant or not. So the next section here is the renewal terms. This is all the information that we care about on this renewal, and we wanna define all of these fields before we start sending out our automated emails. So the first email that's gonna go out is your owner renewal notification. So here's what it looks like. We're typically branding our emails and keeping them professional, and they include your renewal terms built into these templates. So we like to provide the owners with a couple different choices here. So typically they're gonna say yes, or I wanna discuss. If they click the yes here, they're gonna be sent to a thank you page and it will have your information in here for them to contact you if they have any questions. Now, if they press the discuss button here, it's gonna send them to a page with a Calendly link where they can schedule time to talk with you. So the importance here is that we are driving both the owner and the tenant's workflows externally from our system as well, and that these templates all look professional and they're easier to follow for the owners and tenants. All right, so if the owner says, yes, let's renew, the tenant is going to receive the same lease renewal offer. So they also have buttons here, so they can press yes, let's renew, I wish to discuss, or no, I'm leaving. They are also sent to the thank you page, the Calendly link, or a form for them to fill out their forwarding address. Now, let's say that the tenant did press yes, they do want to renew. What the PM is gonna receive on their end is a notification from Monday that says, congrats, the tenant is renewing, expect the form to be filled out shortly. So that's what you're seeing here. The owner and the tenant are both renewing. These were updated via their choices. We are seeing that the emails were sent here and all of this happened with one click of a button. So after confirmation that the resident wants to renew, the next step would be to draft the lease renewal. And so we have this set up already in PandaDog and you have a single click button here. And when you click this button, it's going to create a lease renewal in PandaDog and it's gonna mark it created. So then you can click here and see the pre-filled out lease renewal document. So you can press send here and send this out from PandaDog. I've also seen that you know PMs have been happy enough with how this is set up to auto send this lease renewal directly to the tenant. So as soon as they press yes, this lease renewal is already being sent to them to sign. Now through the signing process, you're gonna get a couple different document status updates here. When, the, when it's sent, it'll be marked sent. And when everybody is signed, it'll be marked signing complete 
and the signed renewal will be, will be uploaded directly to Monday. So now we have a signed lease renewal document and we haven't had to do a whole lot of work on our end. The PM's time is going to be spent working with the owners and tenants that need to jump on a call and discuss and reevaluate the terms. And even then, we have the Calendly link set up. So we're reducing the back and forth booking time with the owners and tenants. And then typically on the last step, you have a QC that's going to verify everything, make sure that it was all set up in the system correctly. And you probably already have some type of internal checklist for them. And so what we can do here is a Monday doc that will auto-generate a checklist template for you. So you set up your existing checklist that you have as a Monday doc, and it will load for each one of your items as a template. And then they can come through and they can check the boxes and complete their checklist as they did before. And then once the item is completed, we just now change the status to renewed. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas on how you would improve this workflow, please comment below and check out our website. Check out the Facebook group, monday.com for property management. Links in the bio.